There we go. Audio synced. I have to talk about this. Oh my gosh. So, today, Nintendo literally just announced a OLED model of their current Switch. And I am very excited. <laughs> but they linked it to the website. They linked to their website. Nintendo of America linked to their website for the Switch Pro, uh, Switch OLED model. And it's it's not here. It's literally just as oops. I needed to talk about this. So there's a lot to unpack in just this trailer. What the, they say it's an OLED model uh, with a vibrant seven inch OLED screen. They don't say if it's like a 1080p screen or 720p screen. Okay, yeah. So they don't say if it's 1080p or 720p. All they say is that it's an actual OLED screen, seven inches with an actual adjustable kickstand don't have the switch right now let me go grab it i'll be right back this is the current switch model you can see those gigantic bezels around the screen the newer model is still gonna have bezels but the screen is way bigger and has an oled display let me show off metroid um, dread as an example like when playing at first that looks really cool <laughs> that looks really cool i've been i hate the size of the current switch screen because it's like the bezels are just so big and the screen 720p but these joy cons will still work on the oled switch because they didn't change anything about the size but something they did change is this raggedy old kickstand in the video and on the tweet itself it says that there is a wide adjustable kickstand and we get to see that in action I really like the white color they have here with the white Joy-Cons. That's really cool, nice. The wide adjustable stand that is literally the entire back of the thing. Like this entire back is just a kickstand. But if you also notice, the Switch logo is right in the middle. So if you were to put a stand like right here, it would put, cut the logo in half. But they've put the logo on the bottom. So now it's on the kickstand. That's a big kickstand, oh my gosh. And there's a, okay, so in the current dock, there is a USB port, an HDMI port, and a USB-C port for power, HDMI out, and controllers and adapters, but there is a built-in LAN port, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's still the normal HDMI and USB-C, but the HDMI and USB, switch places and obviously the usb was switched with a wired LAN port also can i just talk about how cool the dock is it's a nice white color that switch logo is really pretty the rounded edges that nice little white color i don't know why that like white color looks so flush it's so nice those joy con look really nice though do they do you think they did anything to fix drift no right they don't they don't ever fix anything. Okay, so it's available October 8th. When's the release date of the of Metroid Dread? That's probably why they started off the trailer with Metroid Dread. Because Metroid Dread is releasing on the 8th. That's pretty cool. Nintendo's website is down. Oh, no, it's not. It's back up. Oh, it's gonna be 350. 350? Really? Only 350? Ooh, that's a really nice color. I like that color. I love the Switch Pro color. 64! They didn't talk about that in the video. 64 gigabytes of internal storage. The current Switch is 32. Enhanced audio. So there's like two speakers on the bottom? Is that the speaker? Where's the speaker on this? I usually play with headphones or on the TV, so. Where's the audio coming from? I'm so confused. Oh, well, enhanced audio. Can you please make it easy for me to transfer data to this? Because I want to be able to s s just keep this, like transfer my data from this to that and all my siblings data, but that's not gonna be easy. They don't, they don't say the screen quality though. So you can get this OLED model. The one they showed off in the video is 
uh, the white one, which is um, has white Joy Cons and a white dock. But the you can also get it with neon red and neon blue Joy Cons with a black dock. But I want to be quirky, so I'm gonna get the white one. Can I buy it? Available on October 8th, so that means I have to wait till October 8th to buy it. That's so boring. Okay, wait, but I'm I'm confused. Is it gonna come in this small box? The the box they display here is this box. It's a very nice box. I'm so excited for this. It's an OLED screen, but they still won't tell us if it's 720p or 1080p. I think the safe bet is 720p. Because if it was 1080p, they probably would have marketed it as much. But I guess this means that Nintendo is not going to be releasing any type of like physical pro upgrade, like actual pro upgrade anytime soon. Because I remember on a podcast I was listening to like a few weeks ago, they talked about a Bloomberg article or video that was saying that the next Switch model could just be an OLED Switch, like not much different, but OLED, OLED. And I was like, I kind of hope not, but I mean, it's 350. Well, what the heck? I don't like look how big those bezels are that dock though I like that dock look at that that's so pretty I like that dock it just like peels away that is so nice just to end it off with my closing thoughts I hope the screen looks better the screen is definitely gonna look better cuz I the screens tolerable on this thing but if you're playing like Animal Crossing or something you can like if you look close enough you can see the pixels I'm excited Glad it's only $350. I wonder where I'm gonna pre order it. Am I able to pre order just from Nintendo's website? Best Buy, Target, Walmart, and GameStop. I don't know if I trust any of those. Could probably try and find one. I don't I don't know if I trust Best Buy. Last time I tried to pre order something, I had to cancel it and then order it again. Because it didn't come on time and it would not arrive. So might have to try GameStop, even though I don't like GameStop. So, I mean, any new Switch for me would improve the performance because Nintendo released like a better performance one uh, and a bigger battery one last year. Was it 2019? I think it was 2019. And I haven't, I never bought it. This is from the launch year and there's no real reason to upgrade. I was only ever contemplating buying the Animal Crossing Switch, but that was because I knew I was gonna put like 400 hours into Animal Crossing and I was right. I think this is just a case of everybody looking too much into leaks and rumors and getting too excited for something that really just doesn't exist. Because that is what's happening right now with the Switch Pro. The Switch OLED. This is not a Switch Pro for 6. It's not, it's not a Switch Pro necessarily, but it is way better than the older Switch. So it's coming in white and neon blue. They don't... 7 inch OLED, slimmer bezel, larger screen, vivid colors. Um, this is great because uh, I didn't want to have to buy new Joy Cons for a new Switch. Because Joy Cons are expensive. Oh my god. The Switch is so old. I feel like after a certain amount of time, you just kind of have to upgrade. And this is going to be that upgrade where it's kind of like, as long as they don't do anything super substantial with like a Switch that comes out within like a year. Uh, of this I don't think I'll have to upgrade any any further for like a few years till the next cycle yeah I'm excited I want to buy it right now but it's coming out in October same day as Metroid Dread so that's really cool I'm excited I'm gonna gonna stop now because if I don't I'm gonna keep rambling bye bye